Welcome back to the Be Joan Style channel. Today's a special episode. This is episode three of Thrifting the Runway with a Goodwill Extravaganza spin. settle in I am because the last month and a half has been what you're about to see what you're about to see unfold and that is thrifting the runway creating an editorial with OC Goodwill which is the Goodwill of Orange County let me give you a little bit of backstory. So of course I love to thrift at the Goodwill and you have seen so many years and so many thrifting videos filmed at Goodwill of Orange County. It's honestly one of my absolute favorite places to thrift. Always the best finds come from Goodwill of Orange County. They approached me in January and said they wanted to put together a campaign called Normalize Thrift and they wanted it to be all about the idea of thrifting, but leveled up into just the super high fashion editorial, captivating images that they could do for their campaign, Normalized Thrift. And they asked if I would be willing to go to the thrift stores and thrift it up and style this campaign. So of course, when they asked me to do this campaign, I said yes. And I love that when I am working with Goodwill or shopping at Goodwill, it is done with a purpose. They are all about, of course, being good for me, but also being good for the community and good for the planet. And I also love that Goodwill just is so dedicated to the mission of helping people who are facing barriers find really great employment. And they really do play such a huge role in the local landfill diversion. So this was a huge yes for me, and I was so excited to partner with them do what I love and then just go full out with styling all finds from the Goodwill. So in today's episode, you are going to just see what has happened over the last month and a half. I had the amazing pleasure, honor of going to the Goodwill warehouse, which was huge. I went with Maddie. We did our first round of pulling there. Then I was able to go to two of the thrift stores locally and spend the day thrifting. I've never thrifted that much in my entire life. I think it was probably like four or five hours both times. So basically getting all the clothes and then putting together looks. And we had this amazing group of models who came to the photo shoot. We did a fitting with them, put all the looks together. Honestly, it was just really really magical and my favorite way of styling anyways is with secondhand and vintage so this was a blast to do and i'm just really excited for you all to see it all unfold so i think let's jump into the episode of normalizing thrift with goodwill thrifting the runway so at the um at the warehouse i want to be almost getting the core of what we're looking for so i and a mood board and I'm just basically looking for like everything I want to be dramatic so like very extra with color shape texture everything so this is kind of what I'm thinking in terms of what we're trying to pull is just anything that feels super hyper stylized very dramatic oversized saturated colors um, and I am so excited because I've never been able to go inside the warehouse and actually pull the clothes. I think the one thing that's going to be sad is that I can't buy any of it, <laughs> but it'll be fun. Um, so Maddie, are you good to go? I'm ready. Are Let's ready to do go? it. Okay. I love my bag. It's so big. I know. She's so cute. I like cute. that it has like these pockets up here at the front. It's perfect for on the go. Yeah. I also love how structured it is know, too. too. It's like, like a briefcase, but like a carpet bag briefcase. Yeah, that feels good. Okay, I'm gonna put on my magic coat. Maybe that'll bring us some magic. Okay. Coat. We are lucky enough to be inside the Goodwill warehouse, which is insane. I I have been here before to see it, but I have never had the opportunity to actually go through and pull. So I'm so excited today. We're just gonna be pulling a bunch of different items. We're looking for like drama, mold, colorful, anything eye-catching and dramatic, that's our goal. 
So we are on the hunt and we're just gonna start digging through all these racks. bit of um, retro futurism that's coming out almost like a y2k version of it because of this crazy design down here at the bottom it has this like very futuristic feel and I also love that it's one shoulder and it's a fun color what this dream. oh my gosh cotton candy sleeves. like oh my god oh so good so we're finding lots of gold and what I love about this I don't necessarily love the fabrication of this but it has amazing skirt and huge train so this could definitely be a moment if it's styled up right we stuffed to the brim the other rack we're gonna now load up another one you always want to have so many options You'd rather be safe than sorry majority of all the clothes here at the warehouse, we have two massive racks. So I think we're gonna take a lot of it with us and do a lot of the styling, and then I definitely need to head up probably a few more thrift stores, see what else I can find. pulling for the shoot and I did a massive pull at the warehouse we got a lot of items but I feel like a big thing that was lacking was a lot of tops and I just of course want to look for more dramatic pieces so that when it comes to the styling I have lots of options to work with so I think actually I'm going to start in tops here I'm not going to share every single thing I find in because I am pulling for just such a massive amount of uh, clothing and models and all of that um, but I'll share some of the exciting gems along the way. So I've been looking through a lot of shirts. I cannot show you all of them because there are so many, but I did find this amazing sweater. I don't know if we'll use it in the shoot, but it is very, very cool. I love all the texture and the details on this. This is also kind of a cool, like early 2000s piece. This plaid silk, but it's kind of a fun sleeve. A little silly fun addition at the end. Um, this is a Halston top that I thought was really beautiful. I love just the H logo that's all over it. It's got more of the bishop sleeve there. I love a good plaid pleated skirt and so I found this great one. I'm kind of thinking, I don't know until I kind of get everything in there, but I'd love to do one that feels very dramatic colorful volume texture. I'd love to do a look that's a lot of print mixing um, and fun and wild in that way. And then I'd love to do like more of a menswear classic tailoring. So that's what's in mind while I'm pulling all of these things. Checking in again. There's so much, there's so much here, but I wanted to show you a few. I love this so much. I might actually buy this for myself and then bring it to the shoot this gorgeous kind of leather trimmed blouse. I love the all over zebra. I guess you would call that a zebra print, right? Um, it's just so fabulous. This could be really amazing in the shoot. I'm looking at a lot of dresses and considering them maybe as tops too, to put skirts over them and things like that. But this is a, an old Victoria's Secret nightgown. Slip. It actually cuts up the side too, which is amazing. But I love the detail here at the top. I think that could be an amazing top into something with this keyhole right there and the gold rope uh, straps. So this is a giant store. I've gone through this entire section here and then I've gone through those dresses over there. I still have to go through the main part of the store, but I wanted to kind of see where I was at in terms of my categories and also just what I'm finding and different size ranges and all of that. So I just want to show you my category rack. 
so here I kind of have this idea of color and then maybe with some black, very um, texture, bold, volume maybe, hopefully. I have volume pieces back in the studio. This is my fun, you know, print party. I'm just thinking like it's gonna be an explosion of prints and fun and maybe like the florist is in mind, things like that. And then this is more, I'm gonna think gaudy gold, menswear, tailoring, animal print, just super fabulous. So that's that section. Now I'm gonna put them back in my cart and keep going. I right, found a hat for myself. How much fun is this? I love the huge top of it. So cute. Also been pulling some shoes. I think these are really great. I love the print and the graphic that look amazing and some print mixing. I got some crazy huge stompers for all the drama. Maybe a little pop of red in there. These are fun. I mean, they're definitely the spiky trend that is a little outdated, but I do think with the right look, this could be a fun shoe. And then just a few other ones over here. Okay, things are getting a little crazy here. So what I've decided to do was I categorized everything out. And then I actually started to conceptualize ideas. Not that I'll end up using them, but I feel like I just wanted to see like where I'm at, what gaps I still need to fill, because I still have a whole nother store to do, and then I have everything back at the studio, but I'm actually really excited about a few of the things that I've been putting together. And I love to think in characters, so this is my print party crew. This one's a little bit of the wacky, maybe art teacher print mixing. This is the sweet, sweet florals, the sweetie, all the romance and all of that. And then this is the fun party animal, the print mixing master. I love this yellow and black and white prints. And I'm thinking this is more um, wild. That one's a little more quirky. And this one's the sweet one. So anyways, these are the stories that I'm starting to put together. This is my whole cart that I filled. I've got all my rubber bands on everything, categorizing it. It's gonna go off to the studio. Another day, another thrift store. I don't think I've ever thrifted this much in my entire life for this long over consecutive days. Um, but I am at my third location uh, pulling. This is a whole other day. And at this point, I feel like I'm just looking to fill in a lot of the areas where I feel like I'm missing something. So I think today I'm gonna be looking for a lot more prints, hopefully, if you can find them. I'm gonna look at shoes, um, definitely still tops, but I think one of my big goals is print. So that is on my agenda today. I'll be sharing different things and part of the process along the way. I started in shoes and I already found these and I feel like they are great for styling. I love, they have the squunch top. So you kind of wear them squunched down, but I also think the color is really fun. I've popped into the jacket section and I feel like one thing that was really great that I found is this Max Mara, really classic blazer, navy, kind of a pinstripe. And then let's see, what else do I, I mean, I have a bunch of options here. I feel like this is fun for color and texture. potential in this shirt section. That's hard to say. Um, I'm looking for prints, like I mentioned, and a few fun options. I love this one. This is a vintage, really fun print. It's like a little sheer shirt. It has more of the dagger collar, which I love. You all know that. Then I don't know if this would work into the shoot, but I really liked the detail of this shirt here. It has all this embellishment here on the collar and then all over. This is definitely not, I really should just put this away, but this is just really fun. I love all the patchwork. It's even got little sequins. You know what I've learned? Might as well bring it. I'd rather be safe than sorry, right? Lots of options. And then I'm pulling a lot of just like long sleeve, kind of tailored blouses. I really love this one. This is uh, vintage Pendleton. 
but it's a great classic button down to wear with vests, trenches, going for some of that tailoring look. So I'm pulling a bunch of options that would go with that. One thing that's funny about this experience is that I'm actually really looking through everything because I need a lot of options and one section I usually don't go into is the tank top section just because it feels like there's so many things <laughs> but I'm looking through them and I just found this gorgeous velvet I, I don't know if you can see how great it is but it's like a little vest situation it's got pockets right there it also ties really really cute so I love that I also found this little bustier which is very cute so I'm finding fun and interesting things it's getting my brain so excited to do the styling <laughs> I have so much I am now gonna start sorting through everything and then just start to categorize things like I did yesterday and putting different thoughts together also look at this fun dress I kind of love that. I feel like that would be fun with some just like black chunky boots or like sandals in the summer, hair up fun. I don't know, just some fun ideas. I might just take this one. I just want to show you what I'm working with here. This is loaded, loaded. Okay, so I've categorized, I've got all my print party happening here. And then I have all the like kind of fun volumey drama. And then this is more of the tailoring side. Since I did a lot of um, conceptualizing ideas and putting looks together yesterday, I don't feel like I necessarily need to do that. I've got like additions to fill in those ideas. And so yesterday was a really good jump start to knowing what's gonna come together. And now I feel like I've got some extra things to work into the mix. I gotta get it all together now to actually be able to put the looks together. Today is the fitting for the Goodwill editorial that I've been working on for the last few weeks. I have done so much thrifting. I've never done that much in my life, probably all at one time, and have been working on getting all the looks together today. The models are gonna show up. We're gonna fit all the looks, make sure everything is perfecto, and then go from there. And the shoot is next week. So today I'll just be showing just behind the scenes from the actual fitting. So I filled all of the racks with our three categories of looks. We've got all the drama, we've got our tailored menswear looks, and then we have more of our fun prints party, which has basically turned into the florist. If you've been following my channel for a while, you'll know what I'm talking about. But it was last spring, I just channeled all of the florist mentality, and that has shown up in today's prints look. So I'm really excited. So we've got lots of volume and drama. For, I can't wait for you guys to see what this really looks like for the all the drama looks. And then this is kind of a fun play on almost, we're combining Bridgerton, Vivian Westwood, and 80s prom together. This is gonna be layered on top. It's just all the flounce and fun. And then we have this amazing kind of 1940s look that's gonna have maybe some amazing gloves, this kind of hair piece that goes with it. So that is all the drama. Then we have kind of like a really cool, this is kind of the idea of mixing very tailored and preppy, but with some cowboy influences. So we've got some bolo tie action. We're gonna put on boots with this, a trench. It's gonna be really, really cool. I think of it as this character has traveled the world. She's done safaris. She's probably also been an archeologist at one point and now she lives in New York City. That is the vibe for that one. <laughs> and then this is definitely very inspired by the schoolgirl. I think of Gossip Girl currently with a little punk influence. We're gonna put big chunky boots with it, tie, 
also definitely some Dior inspiration in there as well. Then I love this look. This is like my nod to maybe Annie Hall with a little Gucci magic. So we've got this like very cool layered up look with a green trench, these amazing green trousers with a big floppy hat. So it's Gucci meets Annie Hall, which you know I love that one. Then we're going into the fun little Prince party moment. I love this look. This is probably a little nod to some Libertine with this styling. We're going like floral on top of this amazing kind of 1960s green. We're gonna do electric green tights, a green wrap around uh, necktie, also a little carry magic thrown in there as well. And then a really fun floppy hat to go with it. And then this is just full on romance. It's like a 1980s floral dress, but then we've got in the mix, if I can pull it out. This is going to be underneath with that leg of mutton sleeve. And this reminded me a lot of uh, Rodarte when I kind of started putting the whole look together. So definitely some inspirations of Rodarte happening here and and then finally, this is my like wild and crazy fun girl who's just like all the florals. There are so many tiers and layers. I have like these pants, this over it, this over it. We've got a crown going on, a big polka dot bow tie. So this is the massive print party happening. And I do think this is a little bit Stella Jean, a little bit Kate Spade, a little bit, um, who's the other one that I'm thinking of? Uh, Alice and Olivier, like all those very fun, poppy, playful designers. This is what showed up in this inspiration. So those are all the looks. I'm so excited to get them on all the models and everything pretty much is from Goodwill that I found over the last two weeks. So I was going off of what was in the stores and creating all of this, even down to the shoes. I think there's like a few little pieces that I pulled from my own closet, but I really wanted to stay true to pulling from the Goodwill thrift stores. Okay, Beth, so we discussed that the three categories are like kind of menswear and then you got the mixed prints and you're doing like a little salute to your florist and then we have all the drama, right? So how did you get like inspiration to just do those three categories? Probably I would say those are three categories that I love. I love a good menswear moment, any haul inspiration. I love that. I feel like it's always so classic and I feel like you can have so much fun with layering with those looks. And then, you know, I love a mixed print. I know you do. Yeah. And so actually at first it was going to be just like print mixing, but then with what I found, you have to kind of go with what you find and what inspires you. I was finding a lot of florals. And so that idea of doing mixed prints, but with florals and flirtiness and fun seemed like a departure from the menswear, something different, and that someone else could be inspired by that might not do the menswear or the vice versa, vice versa. And then, I mean, all the drama. Come on. I when we were originally pulling from the Goodwill warehouse, it was like lots of tool, mm -hmm. we were seeing lots of tool, and just volume. And immediately, I thought we have to do something that's just full out, ridiculous, over the top, full of the drama, all the moodiness, and everybody wants that moment, that Cinderella moment. I feel like, and so it's kind of like those Cinderella moments on steroids. Totally, I agree. 
Oh my god! for the big Goodwill editorial. I'm so excited. All the looks are prepped, ready, been cleaned, and now all the magic is finally all coming together from the last few weeks of building all these looks, putting them together, and then now, here we go. We're gonna create the magic. For 
For Christy's look, I was inspired by the idea of creating a little bit of Gossip Girl mixed with Christian Dior, all the kind of power dressing, but in the schoolgirl way. I loved piling on the pleated skirts and then adding the vest, and we did a tie with a tie clip. And then I wanted to add a little bit of that Dior magic with a beret and a little bit of some netting over the top. And she looked so amazing in her look. cinching in the waist and giving it this kind of cool downtown editor vibe, but then with a fabulous hat and a few gaudy gold pieces, of course. and interesting at the same time with a bolo tie, a scarf on the hair, and just that amazing dome hat that I found at Goodwill. <laughs> together was this idea, what I like to call all out drama. I wanted every single look to just be full, crazy, over the top, dramatic, even a little bit of the idea of, you know, what you might wear to the Met Gala. And so for the first look with Christy, of course, I've been so inspired by Vivian Westwood. I wanted to create something like that. And I was really inspired by this one, it was actually a skirt lining that I flipped inside out. I loved the tool on it and the drama that it created. 
And we also found an 80s, you know, prom dress probably, or bridesmaid dress, and the idea of layering those pieces together, and then creating that Vivian Westwood magic with a corset on top of it. We did more of a choker style with a pendant brooch that I made look like a necklace. And then we just had full fun mode happening with some fishnet tights and just crazy sky high spiked up heels to finish off the look. Ugh, and then I had way too much fun with this look on Renee. I found this dress that had this gorgeous green full skirt. I loved the skirt and I knew I wanted to do something with it, but I definitely didn't want to just do it as the dress. And so the idea kind of came to me of what if I layered a dress over top that green skirt of the dress, but it needed more drama. And I found this black tutu, which of course is just fun as a tutu, but I thought, what if that is more of a shirt or you know, kind of icing on the cake of this outfit. So we had Renee slip her arms through it and it created this incredible dramatic, I felt like she was a queen, it was amazing. And I just loved mixing that look together and having so much fun with it and just creating all of the drama. And then I found a magical dress for Dana Lynn, this peach coral colored, a little bit old Hollywood style of a dress. It just dripped and draped perfectly. I loved the little details of the beading up at the top, and I didn't want to hide how fabulous the dress was or Jana Lynn, so we just went with that dress, but then we added some magical touches of putting tulle around her face in kind of this glorious topper on her head, course some razzle dazzle earrings and then I had to add one more little layer for this and the idea of just a full length glove with huge puff sleeves added on top was absolutely necessary to have all out drama. I could not do a photo shoot without a mixed print combination and so when I was thrifting, I found a lot of florals, and so I thought it would be really fun to basically throw a mixed print garden party <laughs> with the models. And so first with Christy, of course, this 1980s floral dress reminded me of Carrie Bradshaw, and I wanted to add some more romance and more florals to it, so I put underneath just this really great puff sleeve blouse, and then we added all of the flirty fun elements with a little bow tied at her neck. I found these great little rose pink heels with pearls up the top, which then inspired, of course, the Starburst pearl earrings. And I wanted to add one more topper to the look, so we added a floral little cocktail hat. And then for Jana Lynn, I found these polka dot culotte shorts that I absolutely loved. And then I thought, let's just keep adding more prints and more florals and more fun. So we layered a floral dress, another skirt, and then a polka dot skirt on top of that. And it just came out to be this really fun, flirty floral moment on Jana Lynn. I added a few little extra details with this polka dot scarf kind of tied dramatically at the neck, and of course a floral pin because you need more florals. And then we finished it off with just some classic hoops and some great black heels. When I found this dress for Renee, I knew we had to style it up for this garden party look. I loved the idea of adding another dress underneath to mix some more prints and going with the kind of theme of green and blue with her look, which then just meant let's grab everything that's green or blue. So green tights, we added a blue flower, a blue and white striped hat, and even a green print scarf. Finally, we just added some little strappy shoes to go with this look, and to me, she was so fabulous. Head to toe, blue and green florals. Seeing them all dancing around and having so much fun in all these looks really was truly magical, and I loved just the fact that everything was sourced from Goodwill Thrift Store 
over just two days of seeing what I could find and then putting it all together into what turned into normalized thrift. It is a Friday, I'm back in the studio. Yesterday was the big photo shoot that you just saw come together. And really, this was the last month and a half was seriously so much fun. Um, the idea and kind of challenge of styling up an editorial with head to toe thrifted items was of course my idea of a really good time. And I loved having three different models to work with and create for and then coming up and dreaming up the different even just the different categories as i was finding the items and you can even see when i was thrifting like some of my ideas that were starting to come together just based off of what i was finding along the way and then of course it was about getting in the studio that day i did not film um, I spent an entire day here at the studio just by myself with some really great music on and just putting together my ideas um, before the day of the fitting. So anyways, it truly was so much fun. <sighs> anyways, this has been a really fun month and a half and I've been so excited to share it with you all. And so thanks for following along in this whole journey in this episode with me. And I just wanna thank the amazing team that I have had help with. Maddie has been with me for so many of these <laughs> different crazy days and of course Hannah and I had Emmeline on the shoot as well and then the Goodwill team was amazing to work with and I absolutely loved working with all the models Jana, Lynn, Christy, and Renee. They were magical truly, they really were and um, Zenua who was doing hair and makeup was incredible and then we had Dana and Summer working as photographers which if you go back to my fall trends you know big like styling video um she shot that as well so it was such a fun day and month and a half and it was so much fun we were able to do it here in the studio as well and so we just had like music going and um everything so anyways that's it for episode three there is one more episode coming at you of this idea of thrifting the runway and that's going to be taking everything that's kind of happened over this last month with my inspirations and putting it together in some styling magic and creating looks with more thrifted finds. So tune in for that next Thursday. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel. I have new videos on Thursday, but also you can subscribe to the weekly scoop email, which the link is down below for that. You will get an email every single Tuesday that I load with inspiration and so much of what is happening here on the channel kind of gets unpacked with more ideas and more inspiration, things that you can pin and collect for yourself so that you feel kind of ready and inspired as you head out into the world to style up some magic for yourself. And then finally, always play dress up and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Mm -hmm.